Captain Rodney Smith arrives in the Florida Keys amongst brisk southeast trade winds, ripping across vast open flats. On this adventure, Rodney is backwater fishing for redfish with Captain Mike Gordon. Come along as they pull skinny water in search of Florida Keys redfish. Redfish country is wherever you find redfish, right? That's right. It's not necessarily a one spot, but well, in this case. Yeah, well, we're at the extreme southern end of their range, and it seems like Hurricane Wilma blew a pile of redfish into us. And since then, with the propagation of the mullet, thanks to the mullet ban, right. these fish have been going crazy. And uh, the other day, we caught 16 of them. And it's the only game in town when it's blowing 35. Right. We're definitely going to be looking for fish today. Uh, they're just scattered all over the flat in about six inches of water right now. And uh, they are going to vary in size from 18 inches up to about 30, 36 inches maybe is the biggest one we've seen out of here lately. Nice. But there's a lot of them, so it's pretty good action. It's uh, kind of the best fishing I think we have to offer right now with these conditions. Yeah. This cloud brought to you by the Southeast Breezes and the Florida Straits, now the home of a Chinese deep water offshore well. As soon as we get a little bit of water, we're slipping up between the islands and uh, water will be a lot clearer in there. To put them together, clouds and wind are the most difficult conditions. We're gonna find them in here. The tide is now just right. You got fish on. There you go. We got fish on. There you go. You wouldn't do that in a normal boat right there. No, that was incredible. You talk about quiet and no presence. It's sweet, Michael. You called it, man. You said it's going to be right there. There you go. There you go. Oh, look. No black spot on this side. Look at the turquoise tail. You don't see that anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. And no black spot on this side. What about this side? Is there a black spot on there? Nope. There's no black spot on either side? No. Nope. That's cool, man. Look at that. A redfish with no spots. I guess we've got a first for me, and how about you, Captain Mike? First time I've seen yeah. one without a black spot. Yeah, look at there. No spots. Let's get this hook out and let it, let it go. It's a great thing about Mother Nature. There's a lot of rules, but most of them are broken in some cases. Let's go get another one. Yeah, let's do that. But I believe they all had spots on one, at least one side. That's the first one I've ever seen without any spots. Yeah. Those mangrove lits are brought to you by asexual propagation. Not just for aspen trees anymore. Well, they reproduce both ways, you know, sexually and asexually, like right. an aspen tree. Oh, they're, oh, really? They have that in common with it? Yeah, they'll take that prop root and shoot out and push up another identical twin. Take a live shrimp and just uh, the last, go right below the last section, bite off the tail, can come in like so. This will make it weedless and it stays on the hook pretty well. You come out, turn it around. If you can, push it up. There's a little too much. Around like so can push it back in there like that. Something like that works real well. And the shrimp will stay alive for a while too. As you can tell, the wind's coming down. Fish are notorious. They'll make big circles through this lagoon. They're just wandering around following the food. Oh yeah. Back us off, there's a bunch of them. Yep, right? there's a bunch he, of them. He hit immediately. Yep. Just back us off this time yep. and I'll, we'll catch you. Another redfish, Mike. Not bad when it's blowing 40 out. So it's really great to see so many redfish down here in the lower keys. Uh, it's been a nice supplement to your uh, chartering lately, hasn't it, Mike? Sure has. When it's blowing this hard and people want a flats fish, it's really the only option. And, and you know, when you told me that your uh, your clients caught 16. I'm thinking you went to the Everglades, you know? Yep. Sooner or later, we gotta rewater our bait or they'll drop dead. 
You know, Rodney, before Hurricane Wilma, there were really no redfish here, or very, very few. And uh, after Wilma, there was like three spots that had them consistently. And now, six years later, I can think of maybe 20 spots that we could enjoy quality red fishing in. And it's just getting better and better every year. And it's really a fishery that's closely guarded secret. There's only a couple guys that know about it. And, uh, and those of us that do are out here fishing when it's huffing. And those of us that don't are having an expensive card game at the marina. The tide's a little full here now. All these fish are getting up in the trees. We gotta go chase low tide. We're gonna head more towards the Atlantic Ocean and lose some of this cloud cover and lose some of this water. There's lemons and black tips in here. He's gonna wander right into us. <laughs> but he was slowed up when we found him. Yeah. Yeah, he was running from the street. As the day winds down, they hook up on a little black tip before calling it quits and heading in. They had a great time sneaking back into the mangrove estuaries, bending some rods, and even catching a rare redfish with no spots, all while in the poorest sight fishing conditions. In the end, it turned out to be a great day of fishing in the Florida Keys. Did he say the wind was blowing today on an average? Average, 32 to 36. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right down the pipe at times too, huh? That's it. Yeah, but we caught fish. We had a good time. Maybe tomorrow we'll do something different. What do you think? Oh yeah, tomorrow we're going after world record permit monster tarp. Well, Mike, thank you very much. Super good day. Yeah, it was a good day. Please subscribe to our channel. Click a video to view it. Thanks for watching Pure Ocean TV.